Hey everyone, today I'm going to be tying an oboe reed blank. So I start off with my shaped piece of cane and I grab my ruler and I shape my cane with a shaping machine so it automatically scores where I should bend and then I find that little line and then I use a ruler to bend it. Okay, and here you can see how I've displaced the cane, meaning that the bottom blade is slightly to the left and the top is to the right. Again, this is very drastic, so I'm actually gonna knock it back, more like that. Okay, now I place my little rubber band on the piece of cane. And this just helps with tying and with keeping the piece of cane on the staple. And I'm using a silver staple, 47. So I put it on my staple and I measure it. I like to tie my reeds at 72 millimeters. Perfect. Actually, that's a little bit under. Okay, 72 millimeters and my next step is to make sure that the piece of cane is um, bound properly. So I like to look down the tube and I look at the opening and I make sure that the round part, the oval, lines up with the opening of the reed. This one is slightly to the right, so I'm going to turn it to the left. Too much so I'm going to turn it back to the right again okay the top is lined up perfectly now I'm going to check for the sides that they're straight okay that looks good so now I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing I'm going to look down the center and you could actually see it um, if you see the tube all the way down you see the straight line across and then if you look this way, it looks good also. Okay. Let's see if I can focus that a little bit more. Okay. So now I place the staple on the mandrel and I'm using a Lorraine mandrel I've had since high school. Um, okay. I grab my string. Okay. I'm just trying to get the focus. Put my thumb and my pointer finger on the side of the reed and then I do one wrap gently I don't pull yet um, I roll up and down the staple so that the cane begins to mold around the staple so here we can already see this side is closing much more than this side. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my pointer finger, my pointer finger and my thumb there, and I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure with my thumb, and then I'm gonna close and pull the string again. So here it evened it out. Actually, no, it's still not balanced. So I'm gonna let, loosen up the string, put pressure with my thumb, That evened that out a little bit more, but still. Okay, there we go. That balanced it out. Actually, it didn't. I don't like that. Okay. There's still a little bit more space on one side than the other. 
Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to do two lines and cross over. And I am going to measure my tying now. So I'm going to grab my ruler. Oops, sorry. And measure. So that is right at 47. So I'm going to un unwind it a little bit. So to do that, I uncross it. And then I roll away from me one turn and then cross it again and it's slightly under 47 but I am going to unwind it one more because it's, it's a little close for me so there we go okay that is at about 46 and a half, which I like. Now, I'm going to take the reed off of the staple to double check that it's lined up. Okay, looking down. The opening is lined up and the sides are a little bit uneven. The reed's tilting a little bit to the left, so I'm just gonna push see now it's a little bit better now I'm going to turn it around to the other side check the opening looks good and it's a little bit tilted to the right so I'm going to push to the left let me check that out still a little bit too much to the right for my liking I'm going to push I'm going to push with my pointer finger to the left and then I'm going to hold here. Ooh, that was probably a little bit too much. Eh, actually, no, that lined it up perfectly. I'm going to go back to the other side. Still looks good. Perfect. Now, I undid my cross a little bit. There we go. I'm going to wrap down the rest of the reed. So with my right hand, I'm creating slight tension on the string. And then I pull and wrap. So if you're having trouble uh, at the end when you tie the knots, you can actually put a little bit of beeswax on the string to help it grip. So I have my pointer finger at the back and here I get my beeswax. And I just slide it on the string. And this is going to create the knots. It is going to allow the knots to hold and not come loose. So there we go. Oops. Okay. I'm going to keep winding. Okay. So after I wind all the way down past the cane, here I start doing my knots. So I give myself a little bit of slack on the string, and then I put my pointer finger on the back. With my middle finger, I make a little bunny ear. And then when I pull, I make sure to go left, right, left, right, to remove any spacing in the strings. Again, do my little loop. Right, left, right, left. And then I just repeat it until I'm all the way at the cork. By going left and right, left and right, as you pull, it will also make the knots tighter so they don't come undone. Again, you don't want to go so tight that you snap the string. And the beeswax will help with that. 
in the friction in the knot. Okay. So here I cut the string and there is my oboe reed blank ready to be scraped and clipped and then set aside. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe and like this video.